Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, guys. Good evening, good evening. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, guys, for joining today's class. It's good to be here, and it's a pleasure to see you guys again. Today is Friday, everybody. It's Friday. We have to celebrate. Yes. Celebrate that we are going to work tomorrow. That's what we're going to be. We're going to be celebrating. Okay, people, thank you for being here. Let me load the attendance list. Give me a second. All right. It's loading. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Super slow. Have you guys have you guys received the email? No, 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 no. no. No okay. yet. Probably tomorrow, probably tomorrow morning and uh, maybe Monday, but Monday, I don't think so. Okay. I think it's going to be tomorrow in the morning. Yes. It's Monday is too late. This is super slow. I, I've been, I've been having some uh, internet problems lately. <clears throat> I don't really know why but it's been very, very slow and unstable. I don't like it like that. It's just not good. All right, I'm gonna take attendance, everybody. So say hi or present when I say your name. <clears throat> Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. No, nope. okay. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher, present. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for being here, Carlos. Cecilia Estingman Ibar Soto. No, nope. okay. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Alvarez. No, nope. okay. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Good evening. Hi, Eduardo. Good evening. Thank you, Eduardo, for being here. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ulises, for being here. Francisco Sanchez Lopez. No. Okay. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. No. I am here, teacher. Hi, hi, yes. Imelda, welcome. Thank you for being here. Joana Lisset, Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. I think this is my meeting. Jose Alexander Hernandez Carvajal. Jose is not here. Okay. Jose Bernardo Lopez, Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Hi, Jose, thank you for being here. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. No, nope. Gerardo is not here yet. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enriquez. Present. Hi, Carol, thank you for being here. Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Hi, Luis, welcome and thank you for being here. Neftali Humberto Ramirez Ramos. Okay, Neftali is not here yet. Oscar Noé Magaña Martinez. Present teacher. Hi, Oscar. Thank you for being here. Sara Abigail López Portillo. <clears throat> no, okay. Sara is not here yet. Tatiana Yvonne Torres de Beltrán. Present teacher. Hi, Tatiana. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Jancy Olivares Raimundo. Is not here. 
Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. No. Carlos Ernesto Guerra Guerra. Present teacher. Hello, Carlos. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Uh, Karen Janet Granados Orellana. Present. Hi, Karen. Thank you, Karen, for being here. Welcome. Okay, people, uh, we are ready. Many of you, many of you are missing today, but that's okay, that's fine. Um, probably they are probably busy or, or still working or I don't know. Okay, let me show you, let me show you what we are going to be practicing today. Today's topic is a little, a little difficult, I would say. Yes, it's kind of, kind of, uh, Okay, look, I'm guessing you are already seeing the presentation. Uh, let me show you, look, I'm showing you. Just teach you. I'm showing you the topic that we're going to be um, dealing with today. And it's if and when, if and when to join clauses. Okay, that's the topic, how to use if and when to join clauses clauses okay yes this is class number 18 we're just two two more classes to go all right today is friday people you are welcome thank you for being here it's a pleasure to have you here and to be here as well all right uh before we get into the topic i have this question for you do you remember anything about could people do you remember anything about could Yes, you remember the use well to form polite polite traditions. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? We what use what? for talk about past ability. Okay. We use it to talk about past abilities. All right, all right. What else? Guys, what else? To make possibilities. Okay, to make possibilities or to express possibilities. Okay, yes. So we use good in different situations. Okay, we use good in different situations. I'm going to give you three examples, one in the affirmative form, the second one in the negative, and the third one in the question or in the interrogative form. Example of this, affirmative. Let's say Mr. Bean could Look at this question. Mr. Bean could, let me make it bigger, it's too small. An example, Mr. Bean could play the bass, okay? Mr. Bean could play the bass. Mr. Bean podía tocar el bajo, right? That's the affirmative form. Aquí estamos expresando past ability, okay? Una habilidad pasada. The negative form, the negative form, it's this one. Mr. Bean could not play the bass. Okay. This is a past inability. It's not inability pasada, que no existía, pero que sí existe ahora. Mr. Bean could not play the bass. Okay. Mr. Bean no podía tocar el bajo. All right. And the question is this one. Could Mr. Bean play the bass? Okay. Could Mr. Bean play the bass? 
Podía Mr. Bean tocar el bajo? Ok. Affirmative, negative, and questions. Ok. Yes, as you see, that's how we use could. Ok. Now, I would like to hear some examples from you guys. Try, please, to give me an example using could. Negative, uh, if affirmative, negative, or interrogative. Yes. Tell me. Guys, hello. Um, could, could Alexander ride a bicycle? Okay, could Alexander ride a bicycle? All right, all right, good example. People continue. I need more examples, please, please, please. People, hello. Would you study for exam? You could study for the exam. Would you? Ah, okay. Could you study? Could you study for? Okay. Yes, yes. Could you study for the exam? Yes, perfect example. Thank you very much, Tatiana, for your example. People, continue. Uh, I couldn't drive a car last year. Okay, I couldn't drive a car last year. Past inability. Okay, thank you, Bernardo, for your example. It was good. Perfect. People, continue, people. I'm just listening okay could you pass me the salt please repeat could you pass me the salt okay could you pass me the salt all right all right good example good example request that's a request guys continue hello i could need some vacation i could need some vacation okay yes that's a possibility i could need some vacation Yes, people, I have vacation on Tuesday. Inicio, desde el, desde el día, no, perdón, excuse me, it's Wednesday. Desde el día miércoles, vacación hasta enero. Good for me. Congratulations. Good for me, good for Congrats. Me. Thank you, thank you, guys. Yes, I'm happy. Mm. <laughs> All right. People, more examples? Hello, I'm waiting. Uh, she could win the race. Okay, she could win the race. All right, maybe if she's, if she's uh, physically ready, she could, yeah. she could win the race. All right, anybody else? People, for examples. I'm waiting. Cecilia, Carol, hello. Tell me. Imelda. Hello, people. Um, you could go to the beach with my family. Thank you, thank you. Tomorrow or, or Sunday? Uh, Sunday. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you. Thank you for <laughs> inviting me. Vladimir, hello, Daisy. People. She couldn't have had a, an accident. Repeat, please. She couldn't have had an accident. Okay, she couldn't have had an accident. No pudo haber tenido un accidente. Right, okay, that's a, that's a, how do you call this a structure, the third condition of, it's really rare and difficult. Yes, all right, people. Let's continue. Thank you for your examples. Thank you for your examples, okay? Yes. We're gonna go to the book right now and we're gonna see a few things over there. Okay, here we go. All right, we continue. Uh, okay, people, let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. Look at this. If you see, we are on page 45, right? 
and uh, we were not supposed to be there. We're supposed to be on page number, on page number 43, right? Because we, we stopped on, uh, on this page yesterday, which is page 44, sorry, 42. But uh, I don't know why, for some reason, uh, this class is for tomorrow and the other one, which is this one is for today. I don't know why, why that happened, right? Yeah. But it's, it's backwards, okay? It's backwards. So there are two pages tomorrow, all right? Yes, that means 43 and 44. So let's continue here with page number 45. Unit number four, we continue talking about company procedures and policies, all right? Look at this. I will be able to write a paragraph about policies and procedures joining uh, clauses with when and if, all right? Yes, all right, that's what it is. Guys, what happens if an employee in your company shows up late? Oh no. I'm going to... What is shows up? Shows up, llegar, okay. llegar, yes, venir. Right, that's what it is, mostrarse. Mm -hmm. in, in my case, I receive a molestation for the supervisor. Superior. Superior, all right. The, oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's not good. They book you. Nice. In my case, we fill out, fill out, uh, fill out a form. And then they discount the time. All right, all right. They discount the money, so no problem, right? Yes, the money. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. Yes. All right, people. What else? All right. What else? Hello. Yeah. In my case, I have to explain why I'm getting late. Uh, if I don't have a excuse, I get an amonestation. They book me. They book you. They book me. Okay, they book you. All right. All right. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. Well, in my case, in my case, if I if I arrive or if I show up late at the company, okay. Well, one company they will. Uh, scold me for, for being late. But in the other company, no. Okay, in the other company, I have no problems. I can arrive at seven, eight, nine, or 10 with no problems. Yes. All right. Eduardo, what about? Yes, it is good. Eduardo, what about you? What about you and your company? How's the process or what, what, what happens? When I shut up late, uh, Discount uh, money. They did discount. They 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 take away or how do you say this? It's not discount. Uh, we say they take take away. All right. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> okay, people. That's 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 fine. The second question: What do you do? What do you do when you are sick and can't work? People, what do you do when you are sick and you can't work? Guys? Call up my boss for to explain the reason. Okay. And then you call go up. to the doctor. Okay, you call up your boss to explain the reason and then you go to a doctor. All right, all right. That's a good one. People, what do you do? In my case, it's the same. Really? Yes. Okay, okay. You go love your boss, you explain the situation, and yeah, that's what it is. All right, all right. Guys, who else? Anybody else? How about you? Mm. Well, that's simple uh, because I don't know how to call it, but uh, 
I don't really remember how many days I have, like personal days. So if I if I, if a day I feel tired and lazy, and I want to sleep, I just call the the person in charge or my superior and tell the person, hey, I'm sleepy today. I'm not going to class. So no problem. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I have like, I don't know, I think it's like 10 days a year like that. Yes. But if I'm sick, I just present the, or, or turn in the paper from the doctor and no problems. Okay. We're going to continue here with this. I look. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Pay attention, people, to the vocabulary, and let me know if you don't understand it. <clears throat> the meter is driving, excuse me. <clears throat> All right, we're ready. Okay. I'm gonna read this, hi Annie, how is it going? Hello Brad, I am fine, and you? I am okay, thanks. Look, I want, to say, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or call or her. And when the person returns, she or he receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. People, is there a question about the vocabulary here? Why? No. I do have this thing. No, this one. Which people, hello, wait, wait. Something is happening with this. What? Okay. I don't really know what is happening with the, with the effect. But my shirt is blue. <laughs> okay, I don't really know what is happening with this. But that's okay. That's okay. No problem. So we don't have any questions, right? People? No, teacher. Okay. I just want to uh, clear some things up over here. Let me see. <laughs> I saw something here that is not correct. Oh, here. Calls. Con S. Okay. Calls. Oh, and here. This is not correct either. Okay. Correcciones están en la pondré en el chat. Calls. All right. Yes. Let's let's continue. Let's continue, people. Okay. We're gonna practice the conversation and also we're gonna work on part number three, okay? In part number three, you're going to unscramble the statements, okay? Yes, there's one question. The first two are statements. I mean, uh, no questions, okay? Only the second one is a question. As you see, we have the question mark here, okay? Yes. All right, so we're gonna work on the, on the, on the on the conversation and also on part number three, all right? We're gonna continue with part number four later on. I don't know how many people are not available, so I'm, I'm gonna see what I can do. Six, only six, I'm gonna add some of this manual in here. Okay. Okay. 
we are super ready. Let's go. People, let's go. Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think it will do that. I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Annie. Ah, cambiamos role o lo vamos a abajo. Ah, cambiamos. Hi, Annie. How, how is it going? How is it? How is it going? How, how is, is it? How is, how is how it? Is it? No, is it? How is it? How is it going? Uh, exactly, exactly. Hello, Brad. I'm fine in you. I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to I want to ask you. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't shop, shut up uh, to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, Explain the situation to him. Yeah, I think I will do that thing, Annie. This is show up. Show up. Show up, yes. Show up. Show up. Okay, there is there is a part three that you have to do. It's a little a little weird, but Try people, go ahead. I'll see you later. Notification. Okay. Or warning. Why, Brad? Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand if you see your boss tomorrow and explain how the situation. Yeah. I think I will do that. Thanks. Thanks, Annie. Thank you. Lo que ese pedacito es el que corrigió, Ticho. Yes. Ah, sí. ¿Cómo era esto? Aquí lo taché yo en la pantalla y lo puse abajo. Ah, sería explain the situation. Ah, sí, yo vi que lo puso, pero no, no le entendí lo que decía. Sería <laughs> uh 
Hoy inicio yo. Bye. Hi, Annie. How is she go going? Is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thank you, Lutz. I want to ask you what does, does your boss do, do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't shut it shut up to work today. Show up. I didn't show up. I didn't show up. Show up. Show up. Show. Show. Show up. And yes. Show at to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain the situation to him. Yeah, I think I will to that. Thank you, Annie. Yo creo que la, la parte tres es como el de la arreglar la como la oración. ¿verdad? Esto. Sí. Ajá. Eh. Ah, no, ve, aquí está parte 3. Ajá, eso, como arreglarla. Sería. De ordenar. Ajá, ordenarlo. Uh -huh. Sí. Ajá, mi plan. I'm watching, I'm watching you. Sí. Le tiembla la mano. What? <laughs> the employees. Receive. Receives. Receives. Receive. Yes. Receive. Okay, guys, continue. I will see you later. Okay, I'm gonna go to another group. Teacher. Hi, Luis. And Carol. And Hi. No está Luis ni Karen. Carol, hello. Hello, teacher. Are you available to participate? Yes. Okay, I'm going to change you. I'm going to send you to another group, okay? Okay. Go. If I don't work,
Yeah, my boss call. Um, right. <laughs> boss call. Uh, if don't for que aquí vaya el don. Vamos a ver cómo se escucha. I don't call my boss. I don't. Eh, yo creo que sería que cuando no, no voy a trabajar, él eh, eh, me llama. Could you please practice the conversation, people, before, before you continue with that? Okay, teacher. Okay, <clears throat> yeah. Hi Annie, how how is this going? How is it? How is it going? How is it? Hello, bro. I'm fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I wanted to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss. Call him or he, and when the person returns, he or she receive a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Carol is here too. You can practice with Carol. Okay. Hello, Carol. Yeah. Hello. Le voy a cambiar el nombre. Hi, Annie. How, how is this going? How is it? How is it going? Is it? How is it going? How is it going? Is it going? Exactly. Hello, bro. I am fine, aren't you? I am okay, thanks. I look, look, I wanted to ask you, what does your boss do when the workers doesn't come to work? Well, if uh, someone doesn't call my boss, call him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or worrying why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work too late. Mm, I ask, I answer that. Answer. Uh, if, if you see your boss tomorrow, explain him his situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, now you can continue with, with the next one. Part three. You didn't finish the second the second one, right? Number two. It just says, what does your boss do? Mm -hmm. What happened? <laughs> do continue. I'm going to monitor another group. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Because... Hi. Yes. What do you say? <laughs> yes. Yes. Can you help? Can you help us? The help is here, of course. We don't understand the last one. With the activity, no. Huh? With the activity, no. Really? No. But, but, como se dice, deciframos. Discambling. Decipher. Huh? 
decipher. Effort. We decipher a mistake in the second. In the second one. Revisen los dos que tenemos ahí a ver qué tal. También. Be a good, yes, yes. Solo que en la segunda agregamos la palabra when, aunque no estuviera ahí en, la, en ese, en el, en el scrum book. It's okay, it's okay, it's perfect. Okay. A ver, I call my boss don't work. It's too much work. Can I say if I show up to work? Yeah. Yeah, okay, but as you said, yeah. if I show up to work, I call my boss. Yes, don't? What about don't? <gasps> oh. If I don't show up to work. <laughs> exactly, yes, yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> If if I don't, I don't uh, show up to work, I call my boss. Okay. A little freaky. Okay. There's a mistake, but it's a punctuation mistake. Si el if y el when. Is, okay, escuchemos. Si el, si el when, si el when, le digo. <laughs> si el when y el if inician la oración, iniciamos la siguiente oración después de una coma. Okay. If I don't show up to work, comma, comma. I call my boss. Okay. All right, number one is good. Okay, look, she receives notification when the employees arrives. The employee arrives. Eso está bien, okay? Ahí no hay, no hay, no hay coma. No, no le puso la coma, right? No se la puso. No. But the comma, the comma goes right here. It goes right there. Right? Yes. Okay. Si estuviera al revés, no hay coma. Okay. Well, I'm going to explain that to you later. Okay. Luego les explico cómo es. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. Let me go check on, on this group for here. Wait, with Jose and Menda. Dígale que le manda a pagar las, tres, las dos, tres horas y, y mire y me. Ay. Nos quedó rara, Ticho. usado dos veces el tú. Sí. No. Ya, ya, buen. <ríe> ya lo estoy trampeando aquí. Actually, se olvidaron, olvidaron buen en la oración. Falta, ah, que sí? falta buen, yes. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ok. Borremos el tú después de tú. Do tú. Do. Do, uh -huh. What does your boss do when a co-worker doesn't go to work? There you go. Okay. What about the number three? Two. I call my boss when I, no, if I don't show up to work. 
I call Jamar. Okay, okay. Sí. Ay. My boss. Y. Ay. Show up. Yeah. To what? Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Excellent. <laughs> okay, very good. We're gonna go back to the main main session. Okay. Okay. Let me go to the last one with Ulises and Carol. Bye. Okay, teacher. Hello, teacher. I'm reading the. the uh, we are on I in a class. If I don't. Okay, there you go. There you go. Very good. Yeah, we'll do that first. No, 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 when I could work and that's when go to work. It's okay. It's okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. La segunda va la mano coma después de arrives. La segunda, no, number one. Sorry, number one, number one. It says when when the employee arrives, comma. She received. She received a notification. Okay, we got it. We got it. All right. All right. Let's let's continue. Well, let's go back to the main session right now. Vámonos. Regresemos a la sala principal. I will okay. see you. I will see you there. It's Saturday, we're dancing, and I hate dancing. I don't really like that, to doing that. Okay, people, um, thank you for your participation in both activities. You did a very good job, a very good job. Now, we are going to continue, but I want to show you something before we do that. Okay, I'm going to explain to you when and which, sorry, when and if. Okay, how to use when and if to connect to, okay, to connect two sentences. Okay, we're gonna make this bigger. All right. 
how to use when and if to connect two sentences. Cómo usar el when y el if para conectar dos oraciones. Ok. Uh, sentence. Sentence number one. Sentence. Sentence number one. Look. Mm, what? Tyler. Okay, look, we got sentence number one, la primera oración. It says, Tyler drinks coffee in the cafeteria. Tyler bebe café en la cafeteria. Notice that the sentence is in the present, okay? La oración está en presente, el verbo está con S, que es tercera persona en presente, okay? Sentence number one is in the present or simple present, and sentence number two is also in the simple present. So both sentences are gonna be in the simple present, right? Yes. The new super. Okay, look, another sentence here, simple present, all right, is the new supervisor is in the cafeteria, okay? So we got two different sentences here, okay? Hay dos oraciones diferentes, all right? La única uh, similitud is this, in the cafeteria, in the cafeteria, okay? Yes, that's what it is. So Tyler drinks coffee in the cafeteria and the new supervisor uh, is in the cafeteria. So that equals, esos dos son los igualan a the next or the following sentence. Tyler drinks coffee in the cafeteria when the new supervisor is there. En vez de cafeteria, pongámosle ahí. Okay. Yes. When is here. Acá tenemos when. Observen. So the Tyler drinks coffee in the cafeteria when the new supervisor is there. Okay. Yes. Tyler bebe café en la cafeteria cuando la nueva supervisora o supervisor está ahí. Okay. Yes. Or we can also say, we can also say, Tyler drinks coffee in the cafeteria Okay, look. Tyler drinks coffee in the cafeteria if the new supervisor is there. Okay? Yes. Both are correct. También se puede cambiar el orden. We can change the order. Excuse me here. Okay. Puedo poner esto al principio. Yes. Example, look. What? 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 Okay, look. When the new supervisor is in the cafeteria, cafeteria. Okay, look, when the new sec uh, supervisor is in the cafeteria, comma, ahí si ponemos una coma, okay, coma. Tyler drinks coffee there too. Okay, when the new supervisor 
is in the cafeteria, uh, Tyler drinks coffee there too. You can say goes to, goes there too. Okay, yes. But uh, let's continue here in the presentation. Let me know when you see the presentation, people. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let me plug in my laptop because the battery is dead. Well, almost dead. Where is it? All right, here we go. Okay, look. Let's learn, let's learn about if and when clauses. Here we go. Look, if and when clauses. We use if and when clauses to talk about real things that happen in daily situations, okay? Usamos el if y el when para hablar de cosas que pasan, de cosas reales que pasan todos los días. The structure is the following. Subject, iniciamos con sujeto en, uh, yeah, sí, sí, bueno, es una estructura, son dos, okay? There are two structures. Subject, I, verb, cualquier verbo, ask, Okay, complement, complement for a backup set if or when I forget my tools. Okay, that's what it is. I, for, I ask for a backup set, okay, if or when I forget my tools. People, this is the structure, okay? This is the structure. It looks a little weird, okay? Ahora, noten que no hay ninguna coma, ok, no hay coma, si estuviera al revés, la hora, bueno, las horas estuvieran al revés, entonces sí, necesitaríamos una coma, ok, yes, example, if I forget my tools, coma, I ask for a backup set, That's what it is. ok, Look at examples. Excuse me. <coughs> Oof, that, was, that was bad. All right. People, look at examples. The structure is there and the examples are there. Vladimir, hello. Carla, hi. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Carla, read, read the first one, please. Uh, yeah, Mauricio, please. Mauricio calls stage support is he has computer problems. Okay, look. Mauricio calls tech support if he has computer problems. Okay, dice Mauricio llama a soporte técnico si tiene problemas en la computadora, ok. Yes, también puedo cambiar el if y puedo decir Mauricio calls tech support when he has computer problems. Lo cual sería en español, Mauricio llama a soporte técnico cuando tiene problemas en su computadora. Ok, it is basically the same, es, es lo mismo. <laughs> With when or if, ok, cualquiera de los dos. Look, second example, Imelda Reader, please. Mauricio calls no, this. A second example. El segundo, el segundo ejemplo. Ah, perdón. If Sonia is sick, she takes medicine. 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 Okay. If Sonia is sick, she takes medicine. All right. Dice, si Sonia está enferma, ella toma medicina. Ok. 
también puedo quitar ese if y poner el when. When Sonia is sick, she takes medicine. Cuando, es, cuando Sonia está enferma, ella toma medicina. Next example, the next example, Daisy, hello. No, right. Oscar, no, eh? Yes, teacher. Read the third one, please. When she has a class, she use her laptop. Okay. When she has a class or if she has a class, she uses her laptop. Cuando ella tiene una clase o si ella tiene una clase, usa su laptop. All right? Yes, that's what it is. Let me continue. Carol, hello, Carol. Read Veronica, please. Or Veronica's example. Uh, Veronica is happy when she sees her children. Okay, Veronica is happy when she sees her children. Veronica está feliz cuando ve a sus hijos. Or I can change it. Veronica is happy if she sees her children. Ella está feliz si ve a sus hijos. Okay, Emerson, read the last one, please. Okay, we get, we get happy when we have our pain. Right, people? It is true, right? It is true. Yes? Well, I get happy when I see my payment. Bueno, este último no. Porque no lo vi. No lo vi. All right. ¿Sí? Nos alegramos cuando tenemos o cuando conseguimos nuestro pago. Right? Yes. Or I can say we get happy if we get our payment. No sé por qué esta cosa se configura y no me queda el fondo. I don't know people. Dice, my shirt is this kind of weird solid color. People give me a second, I'm trying to fix this problem. Don't really know why. Okay, hopefully it's, it's gonna work fine. Okay, so these are examples with uh, when and if, all right? Let's continue, people. Now I need two people, those or tres, two or three, to complete the following sentences, okay? This ones. If I have a baby, people. Finish it, people. Finish it. Terminen ustedes. If I have a baby, si tengo un bebé. We jump, we jump more. We jump more. Okay. If we, no, pero dígame, dígame, dígame a usted. If I have a baby. If, if I have a baby, mm -hmm. I jump more. Exactly, exactly. There you go, there you go. If I have a baby, I jump more. People, another person? Guys, nice. another person? If, if we have a baby, we want be able to sleep. Able. Able, able. able to sleep. Okay, if we have a baby, we won't a be able to sleep. Okay, okay, that's the first condition of it works. Look at this one. When I go to the gym, people, when I go to the gym. I feel strong. Okay, I feel strong. All right, people, continue. I get up er uh, earlier. Okay, I get up earlier. All right, good example, good example. Guys, continue. No, no more? No. I fire fast. Quemar, ¿cómo se dice? How do you say quemar grass? Ah, I burn, fast. burn, burn. No, fire. Burn, burn fast. I fire fuego. <laughs> I burn that fast. Mitchell. 
I say in the chat, burn fat fast. Wow. Yes, remember. And when I go to the gym, I like to finish the, the routine. Okay, when I go to the gym, I like to finish the routine. Okay, okay, yes. Another one. <clears throat> I walk to my house when, people look, I walk to my house when, camino hacia mi casa cuando. People? I lost the boss. Mm. In the chat, when I miss the bus, okay. También el luz, luz es perder, pero perder de, de extraviar, okay. Yes. Ah, uh, eso puede ser un significado, pero cuando es un, un perder el bus es miss, okay. Miss, I miss the bus. <coughs> Oh, sorry, so I thought I'm moving on any point. Sorry. Hasta que parte me escucharon? Nothing. Nada. Sí, sí, sí. Se escuchó. Nada, bicho. Se escuchó la explicación. Okay. All right, all right. People, more examples? I walk to my house when my bike is broken. I walk to my house when my bike is broken. Okay, I'm sorry for you. I walk to my house when I come from work. Okay, when I come from work. Yes, it's perfect. Yes. I walk to my house when I come from work. Okay, okay, another one. Another one. She learn she learns faster when. Dice, ella aprende más rápido cuando she learns faster when, ah, except people, easy, when Mauricio is the teacher, of course. <laughs> right, right. Yes, people, examples. When she puts attention to the class. Mm, okay, when she, no es literal, en este caso, when she pays. Pays de pagar, sí es pagar, pero en este caso es poner atención, okay. In the chat. When she pays attention or pay attention. Okay, people pay attention, poner atención, no pagar, okay? Yes. Pregunta por qué, no sé, así es. <laughs> simple, people, simple. Of course. All right, guys, more examples? She learns faster when she study in her house okay yes also she learns faster when she watches youtube videos or when she reads when she investigates when she sleeps or not sleeps not right all right another one look oh no people hey people men los hombres easy right i use seen fin de, de, de ejemplos Countless examples. People, make me laugh. I forget, I forget important date. Yes, my wife gets angry when I, when I forget, or if I forget important dates. All right, all right, yes, it's true. Guys, what else? My wife gets angry if I forget to take out the trash. Okay, if I forget or when I forget to take out the trash. Okay, all right, all right. As mujeres cambian, pongale my husband. My husband gets sick, gets angry, sorry. Pongale, in vez of wife, pongale husband. Y por continuo. My husband gets angry angry if I am late from work. Uh, yes. 
Good men. Good men, yes. <laughs> all right, all right. People continue. Hello, people. No more examples, no more ideas. My supervisor comes to the office. Guys, my supervisor comes to the office. How do you say cierre de mes in English? Sorry? How do you say cierre de mes in English? Mm. No, no. I think it's a un sujeto, un verbo más. My supervisor comes to the office when, when he is the end. Yo sé, comes es venir. Uh -huh. viene, yeah. como... viene, viene, uh -huh. exactly. I was in a chat, Ulises. Okay, teacher, thanks. Read it, read it, please. My supervisor come to the office when it is the end of the month. Okay, when it is the end of the month, okay? Yes. My supervisor comes to the office today a week. No, no, no. Hello. Usando, usando el if y el when. Ah, me perdí. Sería, Sería... Yes. Sorry. My supervisor, my, my supervisor comes to the office when called to report. When? Called call to report. Cuando, eh, dígame en español, cuando. Cuando este, tiene que rendir cuentas. Oh, when. Repeat, when. When. He has to. He has to. Report. Report. Yes. All right. Imelda, ready? The microphone is off. Imelda, your microphone is off. Easy. Imelda, hello. Hello. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Estoy en Spanish. No sé qué le pasa. El micrófono no lo no, no enciende. No sirve. Ok. People, let's continue with the book. In the book, there is a part that we need to finish. Well, two parts. Here. Please let me know when you see the book. Yes. Yes, teacher. Here. This is the part that we were ready, uh, we were, or that I was explaining to you before. Uh, we're going to reread it from here, from this book, because it's important information. People, let's go. Vamos a ver. Uh, let me see a person who has been. Eduardo, hello. Hola, hola. Hi, can you please read this? Lea lo que está acá, lea esa, esa parte. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. When I, when and if how similar meaning. We use when for usual situation and if for un, unusual. 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 unusual situation. Both clauses how to be in sample present. Use and comma. When if 
or when come at the beginning. Okay, there you go. Thank you for reading. So as you see, there are like when and we and if they have similar meanings, as it says here, similar meanings. It's almost the same as the mismo caso. Okay. So we use when for usual situations and if for unusual situations. Both clauses have to be in simple present, okay? Ambas tienen que estar en presente simple. Porque, porque este que está acá es el condicional cero, right? Or the zero conditional, casi similar a eso. Uh, now, let's continue. I need you guys to read the examples. Can we get for ejemplos? People? Me, teacher. Me. Eso que están acá, esos dos. Teacher, se me había trabado la máquina. No podía activar el micrófono. Ah, no. Pero por eso me salí volviendo. Ok, ok. Thank you. Don't worry. Wait. Lea, lea eso. Hacia abajo, léalo. ¿Y verdad? Okay. Los primeros tres. Esos están acá. <sighs> What do you do when you forget your school for work? I ask for a bike boot, but at said when I forget my tool. When I forget my tool, I ask for a but set. Okay, look, what do you do when you forget your tools for work? Well, I ask for a, back, for a, gap, for a backup set when I forget my tools. Or, or you can change the, 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 the position of them is when I forget my tools, I ask for a backup set. Okay, let's continue with the second part over here. Siete parte. Uh, a volunteer, please, to read. Alguien que lea? This one's. Me, teacher. Yes, thanks. Uh, what do you do if you miss a company transportation? I call if I miss a company transportation. If I miss a company transportation, I call a taxi. Okay, look, what do you do if you miss the company transportation? I call a taxi if I miss the company transportation or if I miss the company transportation, I call a taxi. Okay, yes. All right, people, do you have any questions so far? Yes. Okay. La, la coma siempre la va a usar solo cuando la oración empiece con when y el if. Exactly, exactly, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. All right, people, look at this. It says here, write a short paragraph about policies and procedures at your workplace. Use if and when to join clauses. People, haremos esa parte cuatro. Okay, acá. We're gonna write a paragraph. This is going to be individual. And the indication says that you have to, excuse me. The indication says that, that the paragraph is going to be about policies and procedures, okay? Yes. And we have to use if or when.
Okay, look at this. Um, I was just trying to write an example of what you're going to be doing. Uh, solo puse un ejemplo con if acá en todo lo que escribí. Tiene que estar acá, okay? Ahí lo pueden ver. It is a, I work at a well-organized company. This company has many policies and procedures. Pueden iniciar así si quieren esa parte. Hasta acá pueden hacerlo, miren. Hasta aquí lo pueden hacer, copiar lo que está allí. Y luego ustedes lo hacen como ustedes quieran leer. For example, ya yeah, ustedes lo cambian. All right. Uh, it says here that all employees have to follow. For example, if you want to request permission for a family event or for an appointment, you have to do it at least 15 days before the date. Okay. And then you can continue. All right. People, if you have any questions, let me know. Teacher, ¿cómo dijo que era descontar del, que le descuentan a uno del pago? Sorry. ¿Cómo dijo que era lo de, lo de cuando le descontaban a uno del pago el tiempo? Es el take away. Take away. Uh -huh. Take the hours or the time away. Let me stop sharing here.
Yeah. Eva, when you finish, please let me know. Yes, teacher. Finish. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna start sharing soon. Just saving this this thing here. Okay. Um, did everybody finish? Guys, did you all finish? Mm -hmm. yes. Hello? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, well, a volunteer, please. I volunteer. Uh, me? Yeah, go ahead, please. Thanks. I work for a well-organized tool factory. This company has many policies and procedures. One of them is when you enter to the production plant, you have to wear all the security equipment. If you don't want to be booked and when you check the product, you must read the chart of each product. If you don't have the chart, you have to tell to the supervisor for he asked to the design area. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you for, for sharing, Bernardo. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Um, wait. Another volunteer, please. Thank you. Me, teacher. Emerson. Go ahead. In my company, there are many producers and police, for example, when the staff don't procedure and policies, mm -hmm. for example, when the staff don't use their safety equipment, they receive amonestation the first time. But if they do again, receive a, a writing reprimand. And then if they don't show up, they could submit a certificate to justify, justify, justify. Your, to justify your absence. So, I thought. Yes, of course. Emerson, thank you very much for your participation. Excellent. Another person, another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Mr. Guerra, go ahead. Um, I work in an organized company because the company has many policies that we have to follow. For example, if I show up late, I have to fill out a form and say the reason. When I don't say the reason, they take, take away the hours. But if I need a permission for a special situation, I just talk with my boss and he give me the permission. Only that. Wow, excellent. All right, thank you, Carlos, for sharing. Another volunteer, please. No volunteers? Okay, beautiful. Carlos Ernesto, you choose, please. Usted elija. <laughs> um, Eduardo Franco. Okay. Uh, 
Ese, yo no capté muy bien ese, cuál era la actividad que traía. Este, 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 solo puse algo como de política, que era When you leave the office and need transportation, you must request it in requested. writing. Requested? Re, re, requested in writing. Como, bueno, lo que quise poner aquí era que cuando uno necesita salir fuera de la oficina, tiene que solicitar por escrito transporte. No, ok, ok. I understand, I understand now. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, solo, solo. Ok, Eduardo. Another person, please. No sé quién es lo que ha pasado. Uh, well, Bernardo. Oh. Tengo un problema aquí también, que no, me, no se oye bien. Yo elijo entonces. No, ah, okay. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Oscar, me quita más el problema. Oscar Noé. Yes, teacher. Please, thanks. Ok. <coughs> In my job, one the main police is that when we enter the warehouse area, it is necessary to use a helmet and safety boots because it is important to protect safety in the company. Also in the afternoon, it is necessary to shut off the machine if, uh, if we go to home. If we, sorry? If we go to home. Okay, go home. Go home, okay. Yes, if we go home. Wait, give me a second here. Get the button. It's very bad. I don't really understand why. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give me a minute, please. Okay. Let's continue with somebody else. Let me see, Carol. Hi. Hi. Um, I work at I Will Formal. This company has a many politics um, brochures that Procure, uh, that all employees have to follow. For example, if you arrive late, they, they give you wake up call, call. Other clause is you miss work you most present medical certificate and other clause that must be met. Hello. We lost, okay. We lost her for a few minutes. Okay. But thank you, Carol, for, for sharing your activity. Let's continue with the... Another person here, let me see. Tatiana, hello. No, okay. Carla, did you share? Ya compartió? No, right? Hello, teacher. No, Arit. Yes. My workplace has the following policies that, that the personnel who work inside the warehouse when they they enter enter their work or mooks have their helmets basket boots and bell on if they do not do so they are called to their attend attention and a verbal personal action is received because they do do not com complain Complying with the process can cause, cause us an accident at work. When staff 
left their work hours, they must leave, leave uh, the stool in our warehouse and the employee must be checked, check it be security personnel before leaving, leaving the work. Inspired today. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Carla, for your participation. We're going to continue with Xiomara. Xiomara is going to share her activity. Teacher, no la hice. No. Es que quise, quise tomar su ejemplo, pero no, no, le, no le pude dar forma. I understand, don't worry. Uh, it's okay. Francisco, were you available today? I'm not really sure if you were. Daisy, what about you, Daisy? What happened to this person? I think he left. Karen, are you available? No. Luis, what about mm. you? Luis, did you share your activity? Hello. Of course. This is it's, it's very short. Yes. And in my workplace, in my workplace, if a new client wants to buy a product, we ask the client if he's a installer or final client. Because when the new client, when when the new client is a final client, we not seller. Only that. Okay, only that. That's fine. Uh, is there another person or anybody else that hasn't shared and would like to share? Alguien que falte que comparta? No? Nobody? Okay, then that's okay. We got two more activities to complete. The second one, or the first one is this one. Okay, people, I'm going to give you three. Three minutes, it's super easy. Está muy sencillo esa actividad. Solo póngase o concéntrese en tercera persona, okay? So I'm going to give you three minutes, people, three minutes. Go ahead. This is very simple examples.
People, we're ready. Let's do this. Number one. Anybody. Alguien tiene número uno. Anybody, anybody. If you save enough money, you buy a big house. Okay, if you save, right? Save, así como está ahí, ¿verdad? Save. Yes, yes. If you save enough money, yes. You buy a big house. You buy, right? You buy a big house. The second one, what about the second one? Anybody? He told he Go should go swimming if if he feels bored. Okay. Kishore. Look at Kishore. Kishore, I don't know. Kishore. Okay. So it'll be go or goes. Goes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kishore goes swimming if he feels feels. Right. If he feels if he if he feels bored. Number three, guys. If he practice every day, uh -huh. he plays violin very well. Okay. If he practices, if he practices every day, he plays, he plays the violin very well. Plays. Okay. Guys, number four. What about number four? If it rains, I stay at home. Okay. If it rains, if it rains, if it rains, I stay at home. Yes. What about number five, people? If you leave, I'd be sad. If you leave, if you leave, I am. Recordemos, recordemos que el B. Oh, yes. Que el B es solo para representar tres palabras. Okay. Am, is, y el are. Okay. Yes. Aunque se puede también usar, se usar B como verbo también. Yes. Number six, people. Number six. If she invites, invites me. Invites. Invites me. Exactly. I go. Okay. I go. All right. If she invites me, I go. People number seven. If I have time, I do this work. Okay. If I have time, if I have time, I do this work. Okay. That's number eight. What about number eight? If the weather is fine, we go on a picnic. Okay, if the weather is fine, we go on a picnic. We go, right? We go on a picnic. Number nine, if he... If he has money, he lends, lends me what I need. Okay, if he has... Right. If he has money, he lends. He lends me what I need. Lend means prestar en español. Okay. Number set number ten, people. The last one. Sorry, teacher. Why? Really? Sorry. <laughs> People, number 10. If I go to Paris, I visit the Eiffel Tower. Okay, if I go to Paris, I visit the Eiffel Tower. Yes, exactly. That's what it is. Let me stop sharing. Okay, 
<laughs> so, you know, it's it's very very weird. Okay, there you go. All right, people. Now we're going to continue. Get your your pen and paper ready. Preparense. Ready. I'm going to mention. I'm closing the things that I don't need right now. Some things that I don't need. Okay, guys, I'm going to I'm going to dictate some uh, clauses with when or if, and you have to write them. Okay, yes, but I am going to repeat only one time. Okay, yes. People ready? Yes. I don't. I don't understand, teacher. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to dictate. I'm going to dictate. Le voy a dictar unas unas cuantas oraciones y se las escribe. Yes, usando if or when. Still ah, okay, okay. talking about policies. Talking about policies and and uh, and. Uh, and uh, call it and procedures. Yes. Okay. For example, if I forget my tie, my boss gets angry. Okay. Do you have it? Yes. And next one. Get it. Ready. Ready. Okay, another example, I leave early when I have an emergency. Okay, another one, another one, yes. I get a warning if I use my cell phone. Ready, people? Another one, yes. <clears throat> If I eat in the office, it gets dirty. If I eat in the office, it gets dirty. Got it? Yes? Yes. If I use drugs, I lose my job. Yes. All right. Another one. If I don't have a license, I get a ticket. Okay, people, one more, one more. That one is, the secretary prints out the documents when I ask her.
Okay, guys, got it? All right. Share the first one, please. Compartamos la primera. El que se equivoque queda baneado. Lo baneamos. <laughs> no, people, relax. Uh, if I forget my tie, my boss gets angry. Okay, if I forget my tie, tie is corbata, okay? Yes. Si no saben cómo se escribe, ahí está en el chat. Tie, tie. También es amarrar, okay? Tie, amarrar también. People, second example. If I forget my tie, I know, perdón. <laughs> I leave early when I have a emergency. That was the second one. Esa fue la segunda. I leave early, yes, when I have a emergency. Esa fue como la quinta, creo, no? People, no? Not teacher. Oh, really? Okay. okay. Really? Not teacher, okay. la segunda. You are wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, the next one. Thank you, Carlos. Guys, the next one. I get a warning if I use my cell phone. Okay, I get a warning if I use my cell phone. Okay, next. If I eat in the office, it gets dirty. Okay, if I eat in the office, it gets dirty. Dirty is sucio, okay, se ensucia. Get, I think it's chat. No sé cómo se escribe. In Spanish, of course. Get that in English, but that's what it is in Spanish. Is it correct, people? Yes, right? Yes. There you go. Esa es la mejor, mire. Esta mucho mejor. Okay. What's the next one, people? Can you mention the next one? Hello. If I use drugs, I lost my job. Okay, if I use drugs, I lose, I lose, lose. Okay, perder, per, pierdo. I lose my job. Porque lost es perdí, okay, en pasado. I lose, lost. También está lost, que es perdido. People, another one. Mention the other one. If I don't have a license, I have a ticket. Okay, I get a ticket. Okay, if I don't have a license, I get a ticket. Yes. Okay, people, that's it. No more. Hasta ahí llegamos. No. Is there one more? Yes. Okay. The secretary prints out the documents when I ask her, when I ask her. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Very good. Very good. Another one? No, we're done. We're done. We're done. Falta una más? No, uh, not to you. Now we're done. Okay, people, I just want to remind you of, oh, by the way, Imelda, can you please stay after class? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. People, uh, recordar solamente de la plataforma, okay, de la al día. Ah, creo que está viendo acá que hay uno, de más reviso. O dos. Yeah. Two people. Hay dos que no me han concluido con el midterm, que es el examen de segunda de la segunda semana o de medio mes. Ok, revisen quiénes son, por favor, porque esa parte la han puesto acá en amarillo, que significa que está incompleto y que it's, it's, está preocupante eso. Entonces, uh, revisemos el midterm, que es el examen de, de, de segunda semana o de medio mes. Ok, yes. Y pues, trabajemos en eso porque el día martes es el último día para que tengamos todo al día, ok. Uh, el correo les pueda caer mañana o el día lunes, aunque no creo que el lunes porque ya es muy tardado. 
Igual, si no lo está mañana, le caerá sí. el día lunes. Okay? El correo que contiene el link para ir a hacer la encuesta. Okay? Esa encuesta no se hace. Okay? No se hace. La haremos el día martes acá en la clase todos juntos. Ok, people. Yes. Very good. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me do this. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Teacher, no, no. Me equivoqué, ¿verdad? No. Carlos Castro, hello. Teacher, ¿podría compartir al chat de WhatsApp el listado de los ejemplos? Por todas las oraciones. Ahí cuando puedo. Vladimir, hello. Puedo compartir todo el dictado. En el, present, en WhatsApp, present, teacher, por... present. Como está hablando el compañero, no había respondido. Yes, yes, thanks, thanks. Ok. People, alguien que tenga el dictado que lo pueda compartir, please. Thanks. All right, again, let me. Uh, Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Yes, right. Present, teacher, present. Cecilia Díaz de Mejiba Soto. Present, teacher. Hello, Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Álvarez. Uh, Eduardo Franco Núñez. Good night, teacher. Good night, take care, Eduardo. Have a good night. Um, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, teacher. Francisco Sánchez López. Present, teacher. Hello. Imelda Xiomara Pineda. Present. Joana Granales. Present, present teacher. Sorry. He was not here today. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Mr. Ochoa was not here today either. All right, Carol Elizabeth. Present. Luis Javier. Uh, Oscar Noé Magaña. Present teacher. Sara Abigail López. Present. Tatiana Yvonne Torres. Nancy Olivares Raimundo. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Guerra. Present. And Karen Janet. Present. Yes. Luis Javier, present, teacher. Yes, yes, Luis. Thank you, Luis. All right, people. Uh, well, thank you for being here today and all this week. I will see you guys on Monday. Que descanse, que la pasen bien. Okay, cuídense mucho. Y nos vemos el día lunes, okay? Thank you, much. Thank you, teacher. Good night, people. Que descanse todo. Buenas noches. Teacher. Except for you. Inventa, no. <laughs> Sorry. Bye bye. <laughs> No me comparten el listado, porfa, el WhatsApp, para el que lo tenga. Gracias. Yes, yes. Good night, teacher. See you. Good night, good night. See you Monday. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Como estamos acá para aclarar su duda, su inquietud, su queja, todo. <risa> este dice que a mí yo en el módulo pasado tuve un problema, casi digamos que me tiré de oyente casi tres semanas casi que todo yo a este no me quería inscribir por lo mismo porque me sentía bien deficiente cuando regresé a, ya normal a las clases entonces ahorita yo siento que me está costando bastante, algunas cosas no lo entiendo tengo que estarlas traduciendo entiendo uh, en ese caso no traduzco. Pero no le, no le entiendo, a veces no. no, 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 no. Todos decimos, todo, todo, toda persona dice, no traduzca porque no, no traduzca, no te ayuda en nada. Y decimos, entonces, ¿cómo voy a entender? Traduciendo, es, es bueno. traducir es bueno, sí, es buenísimo traducir, pero se acomoda. ¿okay? Y la idea no es acomodarse, la idea es soltar lo que queremos aprender, ¿ok? Ponerle, como decimos, ¿verdad? Pero usted lo, lo ha estado haciendo muy, muy bien, Imelda. Lo ha hecho muy bien. Pero ha a, a usted bien. le entiendo, a usted le entiendo más que a la teacher que estábamos anteriormente. Como ella 
full inglés todo. Eh. Entonces yo a ella me costaba hasta para, para decir algo, me costaba. Sí. Y, y la verdad que yo hasta miedo le tenía a ella de que, porque en la forma que ella le, lo, lo decí, le decía las cosas a uno. Entiendo. Entonces, eh, por eso yo siento que tengo con ese... De, de hecho, estoy hablando con, con los de Zafar, porque yo no me quería inscribir a este módulo. A ese módulo, sí. Ajá, porque yo sentía, yo siento que tengo que estar en el anterior. Entonces, ese es el déficit que siento yo que tengo, que me cuestan algunas cosas. Lo que puede hacer es solamente ir a, a, al manual, al módulo anterior, y irse a cada, a cada tema que se, que se pudo... Los anteriores, ¿verdad? El, 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 el... Que se estudió así, así. Uh -huh. o, y como fíjese que de ese módulo a este módulo no quedó mucho tiempo como para estar repasando, digamos. Bien rápido fue todo. Bastante rápido, sí, la verdad que sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Fue rápido. Uh -huh. yo... Entonces yo sí. Yo siento que sí tengo ese déficit de eso que le, que le, que le comento. Estuve, do, bueno, dos semanas y media estuve así de oyente. Mi mamá se puso bien malita y todo, entonces me, nos tocó cuidarnos y, y ya después no me podía concentrar en la clase, me, casi me dormía. Entiendo. Ajá, pero yo hablé con Odin Sapor y me dijeron que solo me conectara de oyente. Sí, está bien, en ese caso no hay ningún problema. Pero igual, uh, usted siga adelante, eh, eh, Xiomara. Aunque sienta un déficit, hay que seguir siempre. Uh -huh. sí. Y hacerle, hacerle, hacerle un poco de frente, porque imagínense ya, este es el quinto módulo, ya casi lo concluye y, y le será atrás, mejor no, no. Mejor, sí, sí. Ya, sí el porque doble. yo me quería escribir en el 4, me quería escribir yo. Esfuerza es el doble ahora para poder, este, 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 como poder, podría decirle, como complementar ese, ese, ese que perdió más, más, más o menos. Sí, pero vamos a tener, creo que en, de, este, de este para el otro va a haber un poquito más de tiempo, ¿verdad? La verdad no sé si, si lo harán rápido para el siguiente mes. Yo estaba viendo, estaba viendo de que, no, estaba viendo que dice que en enero va a empezar oh, okay. el siguiente. Mandaron un correo, ajá. Entonces ah, ahí tengo, ya, tengo ya, que... Tiene razón, o sea, ya recordé que tiene razón. Sí. Pero fíjese de que no todos los teachers son iguales porque en el tercero no le entendía a la del cuarto era, pero es que el tercero era como más así, como más apagadito entonces en la clase era, se sentía hasta más larga en el tercero, ya en la cuarta la señora era más así, pero yo ya no le entendía y con usted siento como cuando estuve con el primero, con Pedro Vázquez se llama, con el que estuvimos en el primero entiendo. ajá, entonces yo les entiendo ajá, siento que les entiendo un poquito más sin embargo, lo que le digo de que me siento así con ese déficit, que uh -huh. me está costando. Pero pra practique más, practique más. Usted sola en su casa, cualquier cosa que pueda practicar o decir en inglés, dígale en inglés. O algún amigo sí, yo de... o algún que, con quien practicar, practique en inglés, aunque, aunque usted piense que está, está mal escrito o está mal dicho, eso no importa. El punto es practicarlo y, y, e intentar aprender. Ahorita ya concluí todas las tareas porque algunas cosas más o menos las entiendo y otras, cuando no las entiendo, he pedido ayuda. Pero ya terminé todo. Ah, bien. ¿Cuándo? ¿Ahora? <ríe> Hasta el examen final ¿También? terminé ya. Y yo revisé y no, 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 no sé si... Sí, todo, teacher. Hasta el examen final hice. Y aquí está. Ahí está, ya que él se miró todo lo que miró. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Esa solamente ha sido, ha sido uno, tres, cuatro, seis. Ha terminado todo. Ok. Uh, well, do you have any questions? ¿Tienen una pregunta, Imelda, de los temas que hemos visto? Este. No, solo con ese del if y when, que no le, no le entendí muy bien que se va a poder en algunas oraciones al inicio o en medio, entendí yo qué dijo, ¿verdad? Oh, sí, sí. Le, le explico. Sí. Es que el if y el when se usan para unir dos oraciones diferentes. Bueno, no tan diferentes, sino que están un poco relacionadas ya con el if y con el when se, se terminan de, 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 de mezclar. De complementar. De, de combinar. Ajá, de complementar eso. Ok. Imagínense, por ejemplo, le, le pondré yo acá. 
I drive. I drive. Yo manejo. I drive to work. Okay. Dice yo manejo hacia el trabajo, right? El trabajo. Yes. Observe eso. Son dos ideas diferentes, okay? Dice primero, uh -huh. yo manejo hacia el trabajo y el segundo dice, yo voy tarde. Ok. Voy tarde. Yes, I am late o oh, ya voy tarde. Dos ideas diferentes, ok. Pero con el when y con el if, las podemos unir, las dos oraciones, para que se complementen y ambas tengan sentido. When es cuando. Cuando, exactamente. Solo pongo acá, when ya estuvo. Okay. Y dice, dice manejo hacia el trabajo cuando voy tarde. Ok. O podría ponerle el if, que es lo mismo. Manejo hacia el trabajo si sí, voy tarde. Ah. Uh -huh. El eso, if es, es, es if. Sí. Pero eso es, unimos, unimos dos oraciones que son, que son bueno. Que, Ajá. Pongamos I, I. Dice, mira, dice, yo como comida saludable. Ok, va a redundancia. Yo como comida saludable o como saludablemente. Ok, esa es una oración. Uh, I... Dice ahí, me siento, me siento gordo. Okay. Las ideas son, son, tienen una similitud, ok. O están relacionadas. Entonces, en este caso, como hay dos, dos oraciones, usamos el when o el if para combinarlas. Mire, dice, I eat healthy food if I feel fat. Yo como uh, saludablemente Saludable. me siento gordo. O cuando me siento gordo. Ok. Y así es como se usa ese if. Y es... Ajá, pero este... Digamos de que puedo usar cualquiera de los dos y va sí, a tener. ¿no? Cualquiera de los dos. Ah, sí. ya. Así. Okay. Yes. Sí. Yes. Más o menos entendió. Yes. Sí, sí, hoy sí. Es que yo lo que no sabía en qué momento iba a colocar una de las dos. Decía yo. No, eso sí. Cualquiera de las dos se puede usar. Ah, ok. Yes. Okay, do you have more questions, Xiomara? No, por el momento todo, todo gris. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right. Bueno, un gusto, un gusto, Imelda, gracias por quedarse. Gracias. Descanse, gracias a usted. Pues, cuídense mucho, ok? Nos vemos el lunes. Good night, hasta el lunes. Bye, good night.